Star 7, aka Land Rider 7th, land here in another episode of Data's Vlog. Now, quantum computing. It's been it's been a while it's been quite some time since I've heard about the topic and been wanting to wanted to get into it, but due to other things going on I haven't been been active in it, so so now I'm gonna take this chance to to discuss about the topic and also also like to tell you about the advantages as well as well as its usage and some quick little details about it and better yet what can quantum computing do for gaming so if you don't know what quantum computing is it's uh... it's uh... A, a a computation system that makes direct use of quantum mechanic phenomena such as superpositioning and entanglement to perform operations on data which uh, which we're talking about about an increased amount of different information that's being used in a quantum state so look at it this way rather than using uh, binary binary numbers like zeros and ones there in quantum computing it uses a, a different sort of binary called uh, qubits which is actually ones and zeros being dis being shown at the same time giving it more information to pass through and more more uh, data go uh, passing out at the same time which for a conventional computer would would take an enormous amount of time and a lot of CPU power for as a quantum computing it would simply go by as a br go by so quick that that it it doesn't even take not even an hour or so to get to process not even a, not even a minute to process all this information so we're talking about lo okay look at it this way we're talking about better AIs. That means instead of using a one and zero system, it it can it can calculate at a more at a more faster rate. And we're looking at the possibility of of artificial intelligence becoming more and more more uh, lifelike and not so artificial. So look at it this way. If quantum computing has been used in making artificial intelligence, then we're talking about we're talking about some really smart uh, machines that can guess. Not no, not even guess. Better yet, that can actually where you can actually have a decent conversation to the point that you think it's human. And and once these quantum computers get released, then we're looking at the ability to to potentially make something that that would was once considered sci-fi into a reality if this technology ever get, ever gets uh, launched to the public which is which is which is actually exciting yet scary at the same time so look at it this way there's a good chance that that these uh, that artificial intelligence in the future will become so sophisticated that that they may as well become self-aware and and better yet have the ability to make decisions on its own or even coming to the point that they'll end up uh, hiding something from you all because they don't want you to know some certain things that they don't want you to know so where there's a brave new world coming with quantum computing and as for gaming that's that could be one of the cases now also as of 2016 the development of actual quantum computers is still in its uh philosophy but experiments have been has been carried out in which compute computational operations were executed on a very small number of quantum bits so at the moment quantum computing has been used in 
in big companies such as being able to process data like rather it's stock marketing or predicting the weather or even for military use for for trying to trying to find out what the enemy has been up to or even companies like Google to create better search engines or building their own artificial intelligence systems so so it's coming I mean looks like Google wants to get their hands on it so they got their their quantum computing and there's a company called D-Wave which also are the manufacturers of these quanta, uh, of these uh, type of compu computers that are relatively expensive and not very accessible for the average pu person as of this uh, time period. So, so we're looking at the possibility of of several other years and experimentations till quantum computing becomes more available to the to the public as well as a couple of advan uh, advancements well in other words uh, who knows what the future brings with quantum computing and what are the possibilities of what it can be used or better yet so in other words we what uh, what else can can also happen with quantum computing okay let's look at it let's look at this from bitcoin mining surely right, right now we use, for bitcoin mining we use a system called we a system called uh how should they call it and i'm trying to come up with a word for it i mean it's uh it's a there's a technical uh, word for it but i don't exactly remem remember what it is like okay okay look at it this way if bitcoin mining takes uh takes a specialized compute uh device call a uh called a bit yeah why, why am i repeating myself it's called a bit of obvious of course it's going to be called a bitcoin miner it's technically a a a set of, of CPUs specialized for one task only call and I believe it's a uh, ASCII ASCII uh, yeah it goes around that name so we're looking at so it takes a certain type of uh, processing power which of course started out with CPU then for better processing power they use uh, us task specific uh, mi uh, microprocessor in order to for its only purpose is to mine for these virtual coins and that's what's being used to, uh, right now but as t as time goes by and technology advances in a in a rate that even even most people cannot catch up to there there's good looks like a Bitcoin mining may possibly come at the po at a at a possib at the possibility of of when when quantum computing takes over it may as well break the whole the whole blockchain and it'll make it even downright impossible for even the average average person to mine for coins which is actually very bad especially if you rely on on Bitcoin to pay for stuff so so we've got those are just one of the things you want to watch out and if you think bitcoin mining would be a good idea on and doing it on a quantum computer well you're gonna want to tank twice before considering considering something like this i'm just uh... letting you know for the, especially for those that that plans to mine for coins sooner but the question is do you really want to make it you really want to do this and make it harder for the other person that doesn't own a quantum computer in order to mine for these coin and uh... and better yet what what kind of new cryptocurrency will come will come in development when the when quantum computing becomes available to the public
so just a little something to think about before considering considering mining on a quantum computer so so just a little thought there and if you're from the future which whoever is viewing this video then uh then yeah I'm not sure how things will go but but I would like to I would like to see where it where it goes from here anyways uh as there is many many more things and about quantum computer and the last thing I want to cover is encryption encrypt imagine encryption has been used for for of course keeping confidential information or or uh, confid or connect or internet connections or communications from other people being able to see who's been messaging or be able to the to bra to better yet intercept that connection so what I would uh, well what would make the difference between being able to encrypt through a quantum computer and a regular computer will will be able to will be able to really make a huge difference we're talking about about the ability the ability to be able to crack to crap the most secure connection in a matter of seconds for even with a supercomputer which is a bunch of regular computers put together would probably take years in performing better yet what what would what would be what would happen if if somebody gets a hold of that and you're using a regular computer to to encrypt your connection man we're talking man you might want to be careful on how you're encrypting your connection and who and I'm very sure later in the future someone will come up with a clever way to encrypt to not only encrypt the connection but also to also to secure it or protect it from quantum computing attacks so that's just a little something uh, that the uh, think about and who knows what the future holds I mean, the more even as technology advances, so does security and and encryption, as well as as cryptocurrency mining, and probably something new will come up that that was never around before. But we're gonna have to wait and see what the future holds, and where and how far it's gonna take us, if quantum computing becomes accessible to the to the public, to the point to the point uh, we rely on it the most. So, in other words, guys, uh, uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, this sh uh, sh this episode, and and if you do, just like, comment, subscribe, uh, follow, thumbs up, a plus one or whatever it's been going to be called, and. And if you got any other requests or or some ideas of your own, pl feel free to tell me about it. And if you have, if you also have something for me to talk about, or if you even like to be featured on the show yourself, then please do. I would, I would, I would happily like to have you around, and we can talk about some uh, about any topic or other stuff, or you can even showcase your mods. And also, I will. I will also check out other games as well, which is something I also plan to do, and hopefully, and and hopefully there will be better updates coming for for this uh, upcoming broadcast. Till then, this is LR7, and I'm logging out.